now I feel really awkward. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Hello, I'm Donna. I'm Tegan's mom, and everything that's just been said is hard to follow. I feel like everything's been covered, and everybody that knows me knows Tegan's story. I, I'm just here to thank everyone for being here. Um, I'd like to start by thanking my family and my close friends. They've supported me and stood by me and Tegan for the last 13 years. They were standing beside her bed when she passed away holding her hand. They mean the world to me. I wish my family would stand up and raise her hand. There's tons of them here. Let's give them a round of applause. I don't know what I would have done without them. I don't know how people do it that don't have the support that I have. I think other people should be jealous of me. And as some people maybe were of Tegan when she was young because we had so much love and such a great family. It can tell you that it can happen to anyone. I would endeavor my wildest dreams, thought my beautiful, sweet, talented girl. She was so smart. And these girls here, this is Tegan's team. They were friends of my daughter's, gosh, starting at some of them four and five years old. She lost contact with them. Probably hadn't seen some of them in more than 13 years. And when they heard that Tegan was in the hospital and Tegan had passed, they come to my side. They created Tegan's team, which is why most of us are here today. These young women are what it's about. They fight for what's right. The main person I really would like to thank is Nancy, who's standing beside me. She helped me raise my crazy daughter. <laughs> she did the good part. <laughs> But I want to thank them so much. And as a community, I want to thank every one of you for, for making me feel welcome and feel like I'm not ashamed to be standing up here because I, as a parent, did nothing wrong. Was I perfect? No way. None of us are. My child was loved and give every opportunity and surrounded with great people and great family. So I really, really thank everybody for supporting all of us and what we do. Just briefly, I want to touch on a few things that my family struggled with when we were starting this epidemic. I, I knew nothing about this. Tegan was 16 years old when she first started this. I had no idea what the road was leading to. I was in denial for a while, but then I educated myself and still found no help anywhere. So what we're doing today is, is helpful. People are being able to talk about it, seek help, and know that they're not crazy or they did nothing wrong. They're an addict. They just have something missing, something that, that makes them want it. I don't understand it and I never will, but I do know it's a disease. I think it took me a long time to know that. We did tough love, kicked our daughter out of the house. She'd show up on our porch crying. We wouldn't let her in. It was the hardest thing in the world. We loved her, we tough loved her. Nothing, nothing changed what happened to her in the end, but we can change things now. So thank everyone for being here. Um, I would like to briefly talk about the Justice Center that Knox County is trying to, to erect in Old North Knoxville. As taxpayers, I think everyone should look into it and see what, what it's about. I think it's a major step in the right direction. Instead of sending these addicts to jail, they're getting mental health. They may get some medications, which is what they need. My daughter had did methadone for years. I thought it was the most ridiculous thing, and so did she. About eight months before she passed, she came to me and told me that she had gotten some boxes. And she said, Mom, I feel more normal than I ever have in my life. I can sleep. I can eat. I don't feel like bugs are crawling all over me. I don't know where she got the money to get it. I tried to help her for a few months. It was over $400 and something dollars a month. We couldn't afford it. She couldn't afford it. And in the end, she would sell it to try to get her next month's quota. And she wasn't getting the medication she needed. So health care reform and jail reform and all of us being together means a lot. Thank you guys for coming and thank you.